Okay, so the next part, we're going to go over some key terms. So this one asks, number nine says, what is AB? So we have AB here. And so what I'm going to do, instead of actually doing this one, I want you to draw this one. Sorry, my circle's awful. And I want you to find my AB. And then f you will actually complete this one over here. So let's say here, this point here, it's going to be 26, okay? So I want you to find arc AB. So how do we do that? First of all, we need to figure out what is 26. Well, um, 26 is an inscribed angle. So let me type that for you. It's an inscribed angle. And we know that, you remember the little easy way I showed you? If we're going out, we're going to get bigger. We have to multiply by 2. So that's the easy way, but I'm going to also give you the formula. It says inscribed angle equals arc divided by 2. Hopefully you remember this formula. I went over this formula so much. And so I love the formula because it always works. So we have an inscribed angle because it's inside, right, of 26 equals well, equals arc divided by 2. What is our arc? Well, we don't know. We can put an x. So if we don't know something, we can always put an x over 2. And then, guys, we just crisscross. So we get x equals, and then we multiply 26 times 2. Some of y'all already probably just went ahead and did the 26 times 2 because once I said once we're going out, you should know we should get bigger by 2. So we get 52 for our arc. So pause the video and then do this one over here. Okay? And so also, let's do this one. And I'll make you up one. So what if I gave you this and I gave you um, 80 here for AB and I say find the, this angle here. Well, I want you to find this angle. And then we'll have one over here. Make sure you're drawing these. And we're going to have AB at 70. And I want you to find that angle. Okay? So um, what you're going to do, you're going to label. This is our arc. I should have labeled the other one, sorry. This is my inscribed angle because it's inside. So here's my formula once again over here. And I can bring it over here. It says inscribed angle equals arc divided by 2. Well, do I know what my inscribed angle is? No. So I'm going to put x equals my arc. I have an arc of 80 divided by 2. Well, I don't have to crisscross this because x is by itself. So all i got to do is put this in my calculator, 80 divided by 2. And I should get 40. Okay, so we get 40 here for my arc, I mean for my angle, sorry. And guys, remember this should make sense. If I'm going in, I should get smaller. If I'm going out, I should get bigger. So look, I started out and I went in. Did I get smaller? Yes. So make sure it makes sense. You can do the easy way or you can use the formula. But the formula always works, okay? So that's your formula. Okay, so now let's look at some, some more things here they gave us. So, it says, what is AB? So we're looking at this one here. What is AB? And I think I'm going to make up my own here, if I can. Let's just make up one so y'all have one to do just like it. You just need to draw it somewhere. So I'm going to change the numbers. So let's put 30 here. And let's put 28 there. Okay? So it wants to know what is A, B. Okay? 
Okay, so they want to know what arc AB is. They didn't say arc, but it should have put it there. So the one thing that we have, we have some inscribed angles. And anytime you have inscribed angles, I think it may help you to kind of, the lines that make up the inscribed angle, have those kind of like highlighted. And I did that wrong. The 28 is in there. So the 28 is my inscribed angle here. And I know it's going to open up to that arc. You want the correct inscribed angle. So I know I got to go from 28, I got to go out. So you can do it the simple way or you can do it the hard way. I mean, or the formula way, sorry, not the hard way. So inscribed angle equals arc divided by T. So I'm just going to label. I know my inscribed angle was 28. I know my arc is what I'm trying to figure out, so I'm going to put x over 2. I'm going to crisscross, so we get x equals, and then we do 28 times 2, 28 times 2, and we should get 56. So x equals 56. So ab is going to be 56 for mine because I know I'm going out this way. Okay, so I'm going to use a different color. I'm going to use blue. And I'm going to highlight the lines that make up this inscribed angle. So you see now these two lines make up 30. And it opens up to this arc here. So that's what I got to find. It says, what is DE? This is a good example because I'm pretty sure if you see anything, it's going to be similar to one of these here. Okay. So, we're going to use our formula again, inscribed angle, here's my inside angle, here's my arc, and all I'm going to do is just plug in. So, 30 equals arc, we got an arc of x divided by 2, I put it over 1, crisscross, 1 times x is x, and then 30 times 2 is 90. So, let's see if that makes sense. Remember, if we go from in out, we're supposed to get bigger by 2. Yes, 28 to 56. Perfect. So now I want you to try this one on your own. So you can pause the video and work it now. And then go ahead and just try the rest of them because I think the rest of them are just alike. This one, it just tells you, like, I'm going to give you 12. It says if NO, NO, so this is the R. If NO is 70, it says what is angle NPO? So NPO, let's find that. NPO. So you see how that 70 opens up to that angle? So this angle here is our inscribed angle. So you can do the easy way. We're going in, so you can divide, or you can do our formula. So inscribed angle equals arc divided by 2. And all we got to do is plug in. I should have labeled. I know 70 is my arc because on the outside. Inside is my inscribed angle. Inside, inscribed. So we get x equals arc divided by 2. If we put that in our calculator, 70 divided by 2, it should get us an answer of 35. So x is 35. So you should be able to try the rest of these.